Let's take a look at the high level architecture of the ESB toolkit. This diagram represents the ESB toolkit architecture. The key thing I want to point out here is that the bottom quarter of this diagram is the core BizTalk server components itself. We see the receive ports, the send ports, and the BizTalk message box clearly in the middle. The other three quarters of this diagram is all new components that are added as part of the ESP toolkit. The heart of these components are the ESP toolkit core components. This comprises of the itinerary services, the resolver adapter framework, and the exception management framework. Inside each of these components are subcomponents that make up the overall feature. On the far left, we see our core web services. All of the key functionality of the ESP server toolkit is also exposed as a service. On the right, we see the exception management framework. This also includes the sample management portal. Now that we've taken a look at the high-level architecture of the ESP toolkit, let's take a look at a sample message flow. First off, we're going to receive a message into BizTalk server through an adapter. This message will pass through a receive pipeline. This receive pipeline may contain various stages that include the XML disassembler, the ESB itinerary selector, and the ESB dispatcher. The first ESB-related task that happens here is the itinerary needs to be attached to the message. This is generally done by a lookup against the ESB itinerary database. This is not the only way the itinerary can get attached to the message. It could also be received into BizTalk inside of a SOAP header. Once the itinerary is selected, the next step is the ESB dispatcher. This dispatcher will actually execute the itinerary. This will perform the following actions. It will identify the on-ramp, it'll run any itinerary services, and then it will select an off-ramp. The itinerary services are made up of one or more orchestration or messaging services. These services will use resolvers and adapter providers to complete their tasks. Most ESB solutions use the rules engine to help configure the resolver and the adapter providers. Once the itinerary has completed all the steps that it can, it will send the message out of the receive pipeline. Then this message is routed to the message box like any other BizTalk solution. The difference here is we now have additional context properties. We now have the actual itinerary as a property in the context, followed by ESB routing details. On top of all this, we have the ESB management portal and we have Visual Studio, which is used to actually create our itineraries. This has outlined a sample message flow of a typical message through the ESB system. Not all messages coming into the ESB need to follow all these steps. Now with this message flow in mind, let's take a look at these individual components in more detail.